Hey, how are you all doing? Welcome to this Beatly tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Tweak tool in order to make the most of the effects that you have with the music in your timeline. So I've just got a clip that I've put together here in Video Leap. I've brought it into Beat Leap. Generally, I um, now would start to assign a few effects to that. So if I go into the Edit tab, and let's say, for instance, I want to... Um, there's only a few that I generally use. Prism is one of them. So when I select the prism once, you'll notice a little puts a little dot on top of my timeline, let's say, to show you where that effect is going to take place or where that effect is going to play. If I press it again, along the top, you'll see that it's um, out of prisms for this beat. And you'll notice that with a lot of effects, if one of them is out for a specific beat, you'll notice it with many of them. Zoom, you generally can put a zoom in anywhere, but things like boomerang, you'll have one. And then again, we'll be out of boomerangs for this leap, um, for this beat. Likewise, with the speed, we'll have one. Um, and you notice that one actually replaced one of the prisms. So what we're going to need to do is use the tweak tool in order to find a better part, a better section of that, that tune, which has more beat options in it. So we go to tools. We go to segment, and now we get a nice audio wave file visual of um, of the beat. And you would generally think that on each one of these beats, Beat Leap could put um, an effect if you applied an effect, but it won't do that. So what we need to do is we need to scroll along and find a better. And you notice it does change them as I scroll through, so it gives you a good indicator. So this looks like quite a good place. And if we go back to our edit, get rid of all the prisms and the boomerangs, let's just... So I think with this one, what I would probably do is I would start with the prisms again. You notice there's one there, one there, and then we're out of prisms for that beat. So we only have two. So it just saves you um, trying to add effects that there's no beats for. Let's have a couple of zooms because that will add, or a single zoom because that will add quite a few bounces within the tune for me. Can we add a boomerang? Yes, we can add a couple of boomerangs. And then let's have um, three speeds as well. And that's probably all the effects that I want to add into there. So if I play that through now, That's how you use the tweak tool to make the most of your effects in B Leap. Take care, catch you all soon.